Okay, it says we are live. I know it takes a minute to get things going for people to hop in. And it is nine o'clock, so maybe nobody hops in and that's fine. Um, I think I've figured out how to save the video afterwards so I can still um, get it posted on my other social media. Uh, it is like 100 degrees in here. Well, high 90s probably in the shop. Um, so the kiln has had a lot of trouble cooling down today. It's, uh, it's over 200 degrees, but we're going with it anyway. I'm excited to see how these turn out. And I don't know how to see who's on here. Uh, I really, I'm so new to all of this. who's on. I don't know how. I guess if you're on here, throw a comment. Hey Robin. Oh, I can see now. I found it. Okay, I won't wait too much longer. I'm excited. Um, there's, I had to open it so it would help cool it off so I can see what's on top, but there's, most of it is on the bottom shelf. Um, there's only like six pieces on the top shelf, but one of them I'm really excited. I'll go ahead and get this out of the way, I guess. It got to a, from five and a half, which is what I always get to. So it's good, reliable. Now I'm going to get started. Okay, um, so I made, I had a few mugs that were made out of my white clay that I didn't get to glaze last firing, so I went ahead and threw some glaze on them. Um, this is the first one. Uh, thanks, Robin. Uh, this is the um, two times birch, one times flux, two times cordobon uh, glaze, and there's two of these in there. Um, I was hoping to get a little bit more orange. You can kind of see it in some spots, like the right here. Uh, but it still looks really cool. It's a really fun and drippy combination. So that turned out nice. And then the inside looks good. I'll show you the other one like that. I had a cookie under that because I it did get. Uh, some drips, but it didn't go down, so that's good. But same combination. These are a little unpredictable, <laughs> but they're so fun. I don't know who said hi. How do I see that? Oh, hi, Jacqueline. I see that. Okay. And hi, Diana. Okay, so two of those. They look very similar. But cool. Okay, um, and the last one that was out of my white clay, I love it. So I tried to do something like this before, but I got the layers wrong, so it didn't turn out like I had hoped. Um, if you've followed me at all, um, you know that I really like to do this uh, black walnut with snow over it because it turns this portion here like a speckled teal. So I wanted to use some of my um, satin patina, my teal, and then do black walnut and then snow and then kind of have just that layering effect on there. But I really like that, that turned out cool. And I love the little drips all the way around it. And I just did white on the inside. Cool, cool. Okay, um, so these, and I meant to get some matches because I made little matchstick holders. Um, so this unglazed portion here, you should be able to strike a match on it. Um, 
or you can use it as a tumbler. I really don't care what you use it for, but that was what the intention was. Hi, Jessica. Uh, so this is um, winter wood halfway down and then black walnut halfway up. And you can see where they mixed. It kind of turned like this green kind of color and drippy. It, yeah, it didn't get on the bottom though, so that's good. And then just the bare clay right here, which isn't this dark clay so pretty. Hey Paula, thank you. Uh, I'm excited to try a match on this. <laughs> just make sure they work. If not, they will just be tumblers. Okay, this one got really drippy. Uh, so this was, what was it? Three times iron luster and then three coats of indigo float over that, which is really pretty, but look at all that. I have a cookie underneath here. So this is not, the, this is just the cookie. This is actually brown clay. Um, and it dripped all the way around that cookie and on, a little bit onto my shelf, which it's not bad. I can grind that off, but we'll see if I'm able to salvage that. <laughs> but this part looks really cool. So this, the brown one here is just the bare clay. And then I put satin matte black inside the uh, stamped part. Um, so it turned out really cool, but yeah, I'm gonna have to try and get that cookie off of there. But I'll make that stamp again. I really like that one. Simple, simple always turns out better. Okay, so this is one that I'm really excited for. I worked hard on it. Um, so this is, uh, I bought some tape resist and if my phone dies, uh, it will cut off the video and I apologize. Uh, it should be okay, but just in case, heads up. So this is the tape resist and then I did satin patina on the whole thing, uh, or everything that wasn't taped. Um, that turned out really cool. It might brighten up a little bit once it cools down because it's still kind of hot, but uh, I'm excited. That looks so good. That's gorgeous. Love it. And then the inside is just seventeen. If I'm missing comments, I apologize. It's hard to um, do both. <laughs> okay, uh, that was all on the top shelf. So you can see on my shelf, just that little bit of glaze dripped on there, and I can grind that off. No big. Okay. What do I want to show you first? Um, let's do another one of the matchstick holders. So again, this is, the rest of this is all on my brown clay. Um, and then I've got uh, winter wood with light flux along the rim. And then again, the unglazed portion is for the matches to strike on. So, pretty you know, cool, I like it. This was are so hot. Um, I'll just finish showing you the match holders to get those out of the way. And then this one, I did winter wood on the bottom and Amico's blue stone on the top, which blue stone looks a lot like satin patina, but it is a little bit, m little bit more blue in it uh, than the teal. But that looks good. Yay. Okay. Last matchstick holder is just blue stone. I hope that works. <laughs> okay. Hands are burning. Um, okay, this one was another one I did tape resist on. And if you saw the before picture, there was actually a line going like circular too, and I filled it in because I didn't quite like it. I like it better this way. It turned out really nice. But yeah, tape resist and then blue stone. On the top, I left the bottom unglazed just because the clay color is so pretty. I didn't want to cover it all up. That's nice. Uh, let's see. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um. Again, so we're bare clay here, and then this is Amigo satin matte blue green on the rest. Um, turned out really nice. I was 
just kind of hoping for more of like a simple because I do so much color on the other ones I wanted a more simple one but that looks really nice I like it I feel like I'm rushing through these but um it's hot <laughs> okay this one I was really curious about and I'm so glad it didn't um run off well it did I'm gonna have to grind those off but it's not on the cookie the cookie's just stuck Okay, this one I did, uh, so I've got a, a stamp on the front, and I did a brick texture on it, and then I did, it's hard to tell in the picture, the glare is kind of annoying, but um, I did hydro, and then it says Oklahoma underneath that, I don't know if you can see it in the video, um, and then on the mug itself, I did two coats of leather, and then two coats of speckled plum by Mako and you see where it did get really drippy but because I had a cookie under it it didn't stick so I'll have to grind those down so it'll sit flat because it's protruding you see that yeah hey guys hey Carrie um but it's really nice it looks good yeah I like it we only have three more items to go this is going so fast and again my kiln's not the largest, it's um, 17 inches on the inside capacity and then 23 inches across, so um, it doesn't hold too many things in here, especially in a glaze firing. I have kiln washed up. This one's really pretty. Okay, this is that tape resist one that I posted, and the dark is just the bare clay showing through, and then it's white, um, I'm sorry, it is Mako's cotton tail stroke and coat on the wrist. But doesn't that just look. I really love bohemian style stuff and this reminds me of that. But it turned out really nice. I wasn't sure how the white would do on this brown clay, if it would look patchy or not. But it looks really good. And the clean line. Hey, Bubba. You're coming in on the tail end. I only got two items left. Okay. Uh, this one turned out really cool too. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if this was... I think this is the satin matte black in the goes. So I did the tape resist again. So the brown is just the clay, bare clay showing through. And then uh, satin matte black. And then I peeled the tape off. You got clean lines and it's such a pretty color. It's so smooth and satin. Pretty, pretty. Okay, this is the last item. <laughs> uh, it's probably my favorite one in here. Um, so I made a planter. I'll get my film wash off of it first. I'll have to get the rest off later. <laughs> Thanks, bub. <laughs> So here's the planter. Okay, I made a base for it, and there's still some kiln wash. It just needs to flake off. There's uh, the hole. It's on the plates. And this one took a long time to tape off. A long time. <laughs> and then I just did. Um, I filled the little tri the little squares here, and the triangles in with satin matte black, and then the rest is um, satin patina. I only did one coat on the inside just because it's a planter and I didn't want to waste place, but um, the outside is three coats of satin patina. And then that looks so cool. I love the shape of this one, the bubbles. Yep. Yay. <laughs> you're funny. Okay, Josh, I'll show you since you're on here. I made a set of uh, these two colorful droopy things um, and then I made this teal one for any of you that did not get on the very beginning I guess you get to see all this again um, and then I really liked this stamp but it dripped all over the cookie so we're going to work on that but some really cool stuff and I don't know if you saw my matchstick holders you can strike a match on the bare clay. I made four of those different styles. 
Um, and then my bowl. I love the bowl. Well, that's all that was in the kiln. Um, someday I'll have a bigger one, so these might take more than two minutes. <laughs> but uh, thanks, you guys, for hanging out with me. And I'll, I'll end up posting this on YouTube and my other social media channels. But um, I haven't done a live video in a long time, so I wanted to pop in here and do that. But I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. And I'll post pictures of these later. So, uh, <laughs> thanks. Turtles. <laughs> Got it. All right. Well, oh, I, let's see. I think I know everyone. I almost know everyone on here. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, I am going to get out of here. My husband is waiting on me so he can do some woodworking out here. But um, I'll see y'all guys again soon because I'm going to have a lot more stuff coming out pretty soon. <laughs> All right. I'll see y'all later.